In an update to a story from a couple days ago, the San Francisco Board of Supervisors have now voted against the use of lethal police robots amidst the protests from concerned citizens. The San Francisco Board of Supervisors is the legislative body for the city and county of San Francisco. These police robots have stirred a pot of fear by reminding people of movies like The Terminator, The Matrix, and iRobot about a dystopian future in which robots have run amok and could not be controlled, posing a threat to humanity. Many people believe this could be a very slippery slope and also wonder about matters of responsibility when these robots make mistakes. Personally, I think it can create a situation in which there is a level of impersonality between the robot's controller and the quote unquote suspect. Just think about it, we have generations of people raised on first person shooter games and we can't possibly think it's a good idea to put a controller in their hands and the screen in their face and have them deal with real people through robot proxy. And in other news, Walmart CEO Doug McMillan says that theft is at an all-time high. Theft is expected to be passed on to the customers in the form of rising prices. The retail giant known for its affordable prices is also predicting that stores will close if the elevated levels of theft persist. The theft is believed to be organized as opposed to petty, but with the U.S. coming out of a pandemic and currently rising inflation, I don't expect theft to slow down anytime soon. So prepare your pockets, like and follow for more.